steering update. Okay, what I'm doing now is, uh, okay, see that spot? That's where the bolt was just welded on. So I broke that off and I put it through a hole and I actually bolted it on through there. So hopefully that will stay a lot better than just the bolt welded on. And also I'm adjusting the length of these arms. Because those moved, I had to shorten them on each side. And also what I'm going to try and do is uh, tighten them a little bit more than usual to give the wheels a little bit of toe in. So if you don't know what that means, it means that the right wheel is turned a little bit to the left and the left wheel is turned a little bit to the right. Just a little bit. And uh, hopefully that will stable out the car in the, uh, in the straightaways to kind of counteract the looseness of the steering. Both wheels pointed in should keep it faced towards the middle. So I'll try that, put the wheels back on it, and it should be good to go. The wheels are finished, I think, and you can see them there. This one's got a little bit more camber than this one, but that's just because the frame is a little bent. But anyway, you can see the toe in, how they're both turned in just a little bit. So this is straight looking out that way. And this one is straight looking that way. So they're looking about to the same place, a little further up ahead. So anyway, test drive. We'll see how well the toe-in works. I have done the test drive and I have come to a few conclusions about my changes. And uh, one thing I was suspecting does happen because the angle between the pivot point of the connecting rod and the pivot point of the tire is lined up uh, pretty much straight back with the rear tires. Same with here. This one's actually pointed out that way. Uh, I do have a lot of tire scrub when I turn, let's see, when I turn fully to this side, either way I turn, uh, these two tires are not following the same line. The inside wheel needs to turn a lot more than the outside one so they can follow the same arc. And if they're not following the same arc, one of them is going to be going like not in a straight line. So rather than this tire moving in this direction around the turn, it'll be moving more in this kind of a direction around the turn, like this. So the wheel is actually moving almost at a 45 degree angle to the ground. Which isn't really good for the tires. Um, it also makes it a lot harder to turn because well, this is a solid rear axle, so every time I turn, one of these is scrubbing because they have to turn at the same speed, and going around to turn, the outside wheels need to turn faster. So if they can't, one wheel's going to have to be sliding. And then also now with this mechanism causing one of the front wheels to slide too, half the wheels are not rolling straight. So you can definitely notice it slows down in the turns. Uh, as far as the toe in keeping it straighter, it does. I've noticed that, but it might be too much because what happens, this wheel is trying to turn it this way, and this wheel is trying to turn it back this way. So you get this side to side motion of the wheels fighting each other. So maybe too much toe in, and uh, I definitely do want to find out a way to connect these back onto the outside to line up the uh, the two pivot points with the center of the rear axle. That's the most ideal place to line up the connecting points. Here, go to the middle. Here, go to the middle. That will cause the front wheels to follow the correct arcs when you turn them. So anyway, those are my observations and ideas for future upgrades, but for now it works again and we're gonna have some fun with it. Just found something in my grass that's kind of interesting I'd like to show you. Um, talking about tire scrub, uh, 
what I okay you can kind of see my tracks right here Road around here so as I was going around the rear tire was just fine following this curve which means that the inside tire was turning faster than it was rolling along the ground which causes this to happen the little knobs dig up part of the part of the grass because as the tires moving across the grass it's not hitting and lifting up it's spinning faster so it hits the grass digs up and then goes so that's evidence of tire scrub and also here you can see the front wheel was scrubbing as well because you know if I were to drive straight I would just knock the grass flat down but as you can see if I go on my straight line the grass is slanted to the side so the wheels they were turned but they were going like this as they were going around the turn and they were rolling forward but they were sliding and pushing the grass out to the side so yep so that tire was sliding and this front tire was sliding so anyway now I have to rake up some grass like this from when I mowed little chunks I've got to rake that up and put it into the green waste cuz I do